Multiple linear regression is a very popular forecasting tool. Uh, in this particular file, the bobblehead promotion, this is a data results or regression results from uh, a study that the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers, World, World, uh, World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers, they ran a, about eight years ago regarding attendance. Okay, so this is average attendance per game for the LA Dodgers and this is data from 2012. And uh, so you see a selection of dummy variables, right? Dummy variable for May, June, July, August, September. One if it, you were if you won if the game took place in May, zero with otherwise. Otherwise, right? Same story with June. Gets a one if it, if the game took place in June, zero otherwise, and so on. Same kind of idea for the days of the week. One if it, the game occurred on a Tuesday. Zero if it didn't. One if a game occurred on a Wednesday. Zero otherwise. Okay, and we go along. First thing you want to note in your head is what's the base case. Now, for if you're not familiar with baseball, baseball the baseball season starts in in April. Uh, so we see that April is a month that's not represented amongst that selection. So if May gets a zero, June gets a zero, July gets a zero, August gets a zero, September gets a zero, October gets a zero, meaning the game did not take place in any of those months, then it must have taken place in April. Okay. Now think about the same kind of idea, but for days of the week. And then we have the bobblehead promotion. right? One if we ran the bobblehead promotion, zero otherwise. And in this particular season, they ran 11 bobblehead promotions. So we see average attendance, so we're measuring attendance. So when I look at the coefficient for May, I see it's minus 2385.625. That's telling me that May attendance relative to the base case of April, May's average attendance is about 2386 people less per game again, on average, less per game than was the case in April. June, average attendance is about 7,163 more than is the case in April. And July, again, positive coefficient, so July has got a higher average attendance than April. Same thing with, with August. Uh, starts to to, you know, September, pretty close to average attendance in April, and October is a little bit less. It gets a little bit chilly, even for those Los Angelinos in October. Okay. So, um, and then we can look at things uh, similarly with the days of the week, right? right? Relative to the base case, so I'll leave that up to you to think about, Tuesday's attendance is 7,911 higher than the base case. Wednesdays, 2,460 higher on average than the base case. Thursday, somewhat close to the base case, uh, 775 people more. Friday, a little bit more. Saturday, Sunday, as we get into the weekend, a little bit better than the base case. Notice that all those day of the week coefficients are positive. What does that tell us? That the base case is the worst day of the week. When I look at the, day, the month, I see that the largest negative coefficient is for May, telling me that attendance in May, May is the worst month of, of the baseball season for attendance. As in, that's not that surprising. Uh, baseball, 162 games in, in, a, in Major League Baseball. There's a whole bunch of flurry and excitement with opening day and, and, and so on, which takes place in April. And then there's kind of that let, let down in, into May. Uh, and then it kind of picks up into those summer months because it's so nice out and, and, and people want to go take in a game and they have maybe a little bit more flexible schedule and so on. Okay. So the bobblehead promotion shows a coefficient of 10,700 and almost 715. So that indicates that on days that they ran the bobblehead promotion, right, attendance on average was up by 10,715 people. Right? The three little asterisks there indicate that if we go scroll down to the bottom here, that that was significant at an alpha of 1%. And right? so it was significant. So it tells us that if we, on Saturday, 
Again, we got the attendance, bobblehead promotion, another dummy variable. Yes, if you ran it, no if you didn't. Okay. So we have interpretation to those coefficients, which we've just really rotated through. Does the intercept, the constant, have an interpretation? Well, it does, actually. Constant means that if you didn't run a bobblehead promotion, so that x is 0. You didn't do it on Sunday. You didn't do it on Saturday. You didn't do it on Friday. You didn't do it on Thursday. You didn't do it on Wednesday. You didn't do it on Monday. I'm uh, sorry, on Tuesday. You did it on Monday, the base case. So on Monday, the base case, in April, because all the other month variables would be 0. So a Monday in April, no bobblehead promotion. That's where all the x's are equal to 0. Is that reasonable? Absolutely, there was a Monday in April where they didn't run a bobblehead promotion. So, yes, that's a possibility. What was the uh, attendance on that day with that uh, set of uh, X variables? 30,909 folks we would expect to uh, go to the ball game on that kind of day. A Monday in May with no bobblehead promotion. Okay. So, yes, the constant has interpretive meaning. R squared adjusted at 54.4%, uh, but we use the R adjusted R squared because we have a multiple linear regression case. So 45.6% of the variability in attendance, which is our Y, is explained by this model. So there's lots of other things going on that um, it's not explained by this model. So things to think about as you prepare for exam number two. Item number one, if you were to run a promotion, what promotion would you run? That's the creative side of your brain. When would you run it? What day of the week? What month of the season? And why? And when you say the why, must reference actual numbers from your results. I say it again, you must Reference actual numbers from your results. One more time! You must mention and reference specific numbers from your results. Okay, draw an inference. Yeah, okay, I think it should be on a Monday because uh, a Monday uh, in October because I think that would be a good time. That means nothing. Why? Uh, well, you know, you got to use the numbers, bring it into your analysis. Okay. So again, numbers very important. We see uh, we have an F stat, which we don't have a p value here, but it does say that it's uh, less than one percent because it's noted that it's uh, significant at the one percent model. So the overall model is significant. We see certain variables are significant and certain variables are not. So, for instance, no little asterisk by Thursday, which, because it doesn't have an asterisk, means that its p-value is higher than 10%. So, it's not Thursday is not statistically significantly different than Monday. Yeah, it's got a positive coefficient, but it's not a, it's not significantly different than zero. Same idea for Wednesday. No little asterisk. Oops, sorry. No little asterisk, which again suggests that the alpha, or sorry, that the p-value is higher than 10%. We don't know what it is, but it's higher than any reasonable alpha. So it's not statistically significantly different than zero. Okay. Same story we can apply when we look at September, right? No little asterisks, so it's not significantly different than the base case of April. So those are, are one table here, and there's a lot of interpretive results. There's a lot of business decisions that can be made based on this table. And so this is a very strong, awesome application of multiple linear regression in a real-world context. There's also an article uh, talking about minor league baseball, and minor league baseball is really into the promotions. They're, they really have got it into a fine art because promotions really do drive attendance in minor league baseball. Do somewhat in, in the major league case, but really, boy, it's a, it's a big deal when uh, it comes to minor league baseball. Okay, so that gives you enough to think about uh, for exam number two because... It's a great question. I love it. Very applied. Very businessy.
got everything you could ask for.